Okay, here we go. Third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. <laughs> Never on my channel. Hi everybody, it's me, Maddie, and welcome back to another video. So today, I'm going to be doing a video on my 16th uh, birthday haul. I have made one of these from my 14th, my 15th, and now my 16th birthday. Uh, when this goes up, it's been exactly one week since I turned 16. I turned 16 on the 19th. Today, when I'm filming this, it is Thursday the 22nd. And, um, yeah, I'm 16, and I don't feel any different, but I am a year older, so there we go. Uh, anyway, so yeah, today I'm doing my 16th birthday haul. I got a lot of stuff in for my 16th birthday, and I'm very excited to tell you guys all about it, but... Because of people nowadays, I have to come over here and preface the video. I am in no way bragging about what I've got. I'm simply showing you what i got. And if you don't like me showing you what i got, then don't watch the video, okay? Okay. And also, if you think I'm bragging about what I got for my 16th birthday, how is me showing you what I got for my 16th birthday any different from somebody showing you the 65 books they got in a book haul video? You're right. There's no difference. So, now that that's out of the way, alright, let's start talking about everything I got for my 16th birthday. I didn't plan on doing that and it sounds so stupid and now I regret it. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is books. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11. I got 11 books, dude. Like, this is what, like, I got half the books I read last year, so good thing I've bumped up my, my, my reading, you know? But I got some that I don't physically own, so we're going to go over those first. So, first thing I got was uh, a pre-order for Unlocked by Shannon Messenger. I wouldn't technically say this is a birthday present because my mom got uh, me and gr my granny the first eight books, but she also got us this one. So this is arriving November 17th is what Amazon says. Then I also got The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. I got this in paperback, though, so it doesn't arrive until December 29th, which I'm okay with. I don't need it earlier because um, I have enough books to hold me off for a long time. And then I also pre-ordered uh, Reaper of Souls by Renna Barron. This comes out February 16th in hardcover. comes out next year, and I loved the first book, so I'm very, very excited to finally get to reading this. This one. This one right here. Yeah. Okay. Boo. All right, moving on to the books I got. Let me talk about the books my dad got me first. So these are in no particular order. They're just, well, they're in order from, like, shortest tallest because they look better in a stack. Anyway, uh, first we're going to talk about is I got Superman Dawnbreaker by Matt De La Pena. So this is one of the DC icon books, and I read uh, Sarah J. Mass's Catwoman earlier this year and gave it 5 out of 5 stars. Just remember, I didn't take my rating off of that because, okay. Anyway, so yes, I got this, and I was really excited to read this one. I put on my wish list, I put all of these books because I didn't really care which one I got. Or I got the last three I haven't read yet, which was Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. And I got Superman, and I already know this isn't going to be a 5 out of 5 star because <sighs> Matt's political opinions are shining in this book so heavily, and I just, I'm not a fan of it, alright? So I have started this, I don't know when I'm going to fit, like, continue on with this book, because I, I'm on page, like, 38, so I am not, I'm not very far into it at all, but I was really excited to read this, and I'm kind of not super excited anymore, I do still want to finish this, because I've already started it, but we'll have to see when I finally do finish it. I also got Crown of Feathers by Nikki Pau Preto. I don't think I pronounced her name correct. But I also got this. Uh, I've wanted to read this for a long time, but it got bumped up on my want to read list when the author announced that it's being turned into a webtoon. I was like, 
Okay, all right, so now I want to read the book first and then I'm going to reread it in the comic book form. And I really am excited to get to this. I'm hoping to get to this by the end of this year so then I can reread re it next year in comic book format, but I don't know. I don't know. So we'll have to see. Uh, I hope you don't, you didn't want to know what these books are about because I don't know until I read them and I haven't read them yet. So moving on, I also got The One and Only City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. Uh, that's, I don't think that's how you pronounce her last name. I don't know why I pronounce it like that, but I don't think that's how you pronounce her name. Yes, I got this and I had never heard of this until this year when it blew up on booktube because the last book came out and everyone like was raving about it and maybe I just don't follow the right people because I've never heard about it until this year so this could be a contender for the most popular book of 2020 but I don't think I'm going to do it with this yeah you know so this one the only thing I know about it is demons right no gins okay I knew it was a D word, right? Uh, yeah, so I, I don't know much about this. I don't think this is going to be a 5 out of 5 star read. I think it might be like a 4 or something. But I think one of the sequels will be a 5 out of 5 star because I've heard the last book is a killer. Like you could use it to kill people, but it's also going to like kill you because it's supposed to be very heartbreaking. So, yes. I'm sorry if my if me moving my sleeves up and down is like bugging you, but I'm hot, okay? And then I got, I got, ta-da! I got Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger, and if you're like, Madison, you already own this book. I know. I know I already own this book, okay? But this one is the illustrated and annotated edition, baby. And if you don't know what that means, let me just show you. It has annotations in it. Can you see that? I hope you can. And it's got illustrations in it, baby. So, yeah. I want to reread this book now so bad because I want to go back and read the book with the annotations and see the illustrations along with it. But I uh, definitely going to be rereading this next year. I might reread the entire series. Uh, even though there's some books that really, you know, drag. But I might not we'll have to see, but I'm definitely going to be rereading this next year because I really want to experience this book in full now that I have illustrations and annotations in it. So, there we go. And now, let's talk about the other books that I bought with some birthday money. Um... These ones are also in order of, like, tallest, except this book that I'm showing first is actually the second shortest. All right, well, moving on. I got The Merciful Crow, the Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen. I got this because Jen from Jen's Bookshelf, like, loves this book. And, um, it's short, okay? And you know what? You can't get short YA fantasies anymore, all right? Every YA fantasy is, like, over 400 pages. And I'm like, dude, stop. Because I get bored after 400 pages of a fantasy if it's not holding my attention, okay? So a short YA fantasy that somebody I, I, like on, I watch on BookTube who's, like, with, like yeah, I'm going to pick it up. Uh, she loves this book. I want to love this book. I don't know what it's about. All I know is it's got a future chieftain, a fugitive prince, a two cunning bodyguard, and a one grumpy gray tabby is what it says in the back. So, yes. And then it has give them fire and give them fear as a tagline. So, very excited for this. I think this is only a duology, too. So, even freaking better. You don't get many of those nowadays, now do ya? Alright, I also got this hefty baby. 
I did not know it was this big, okay? I didn't know it was this big. And it's not even floppy. But I also got From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I don't know what this is about, but I know that everyone and their mother freaking adores this book. Everybody I follow on Goodreads and I'm friends with have given this book 5 out of 5 stars if they've read it. Um, if they haven't given it 5 out of 5, pretty sure they gave it pretty close to 5 out of 5, right? So, I definitely, definitely think I'm going to love this. I think I'm going to give this 5 out of 5 stars because it seems like stuff I would love. Granted, I don't know what it's about. <laughs> it seems like something I would like, but I don't know what it's about. Um, so, it says, Perfect for fans of Sarah J. Mass and Laura Talisa. Talisa? I think I have a Laura Talisa book on my TBR, too. But I'm no longer supporting Sarah J. Mass, so uh, I think this could be a perfect fitter, a filler for Sarah because I'm no longer supporting her. Okay, moving on. I also got The Midnight Library by Matt Haig and Maya and the Rising Dark by Rena Barron. These are both hardcovers, and I got these because this is one of my most anticipated books of 2020, and I probably won't get to it until 2021. So look at me. Love it. And then I got this one. I never heard of it before. I have no idea what it's about, okay? But I saw somewhere that a tagline the author talked about this book was a girl or a lady, a de an old woman. She's, I think she's supposed to be dead. She gets to experience all of the other lives she could have had. I think it's going to be a very sad book. And I'm down for that. I am I'm so excited for a sad book. I don't know how to sit on my bed. This is a very bad decision to film, okay? I understand that. Um, but yeah, I am really excited to read this, and I really am hoping that I'm going to cry while reading it. This one is by Rena Barron, and I love Rena Barron's debut, so there we go. So, all the books I got, we have now talked about. Let's move on to uh, socks. I got quite a few. So, uh, these ones are kind of vulgar, but, uh, yeah, I got these socks. Okay, I'm covering up the man word. <laughs> but, yeah, they're cute, uh, and they would match my blue shirt that I you guys, I did my Florida Georgia line shirt. Okay, that's my only blue shirt. I also got these socks that say eat some whole foods and they got donuts on them. And then I got uh, so many books, so little time socks as well. These are all like high, like knee high or like this high of socks. And then, since we're on the topic of, topic of clothes, I also got a Mr. Beast 40 million subscriber t-shirt. You'll probably never see me wearing this uh, because it goes with all my other shirts I have that are collections. I wore one of my collections at Walt Disney World and it got stolen. So, I'm not making that mistake ever again. <laughs> I also got a new book light and this this is the book light that my mom got me she got me this glow 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 scent i don't know how to say it but she got me these and would i recommend them yeah i like them so they just go around your neck you know and then boom baby so yeah i do like these uh, I haven't, I've only used them once, and I will say that it kind of hurts your neck, but I think there's, like, ways around that, you know? This also came with a bookmark, so, yeah, the bookmark is currently in a book, so, yes. Then my mom got me this money tree, look at this, I'm saving the big, big ticket items for last, but she got me this money tree, and it's just a tree made out of money. Uh, and it's so cool, okay? I don't even know these things existed, but I, like, love it, all right? And then my granny got me a wallet for my driver's license, which was a very, very bad hint of her saying, get a driver's license, Madison. And then uh, my mom got this thing for both of us, but she gave it to me as a birthday gift, but it's for both of us, and it's just a waterproof camera. Just because so when we go to uh, Castaway Key in the Bahamas and stuff like that, we have a cheap little uh, camera. Uh, it doesn't have an SD card in it, so we need to get one of those. But, yes. 
Oh, I almost forgot about this. I also got a bracelet that says, you are loved, you are valued, and you are beautiful. My mom thought this could be like an ankle bracelet, because like that's like kind of like the only bracelet I would wear, would be an ankle bracelet. You guys see that? I'm sitting on a bed, so I hope so. Be a makeup girl. I don't know if you guys can read that. But it doesn't fit my ankle, because I have fat ankles, so yay. All right, and then the final things I'm gonna show you, and the other things I'm just gonna put pictures up of because I can't grab them. I got two blankets, all right? So my granny made me this quilt, and she actually made me this quilt I'm sitting on right now. It's got wolves on it, can you see it? It's got wolves on it, because I like wolves. But then she gave me this quilt because when I was young, like three years old, she was up and she was knitting this quilt and she said for me to go and grab a red piece. And I always went and grabbed the same red piece, which was this one right there. Um, so she gave it to me for that memory. And there you go. Can you see it? Does it, is it a good, is it a good image? So yeah, I got this quilt. And um, I like it, and I haven't used it yet, because I've been using my other blanket I got, but I will be using this when I, and you, I think you might understand once I show you the other blanket I got. Um, I'm gonna have to fold that up later, okay? So the other blanket I got is heavy, and you're like, heavy, it's a blanket, and I'm like, I know. But it's heavy, it's a 20 pound weighted blanket. <laughs> a 20 pound weighted blanket. And uh, yeah, it's comfortable, but it's impossible for me to fall asleep with because I get so hot and I can't toss and turn and get comfortable. Um, my mom thinks she might have gotten me one that's too heavy. And I think a 15 pounder would have been okay. Because 20 pounds is really heavy, okay? I bicep curl 20 pounds, all right? So uh, sleeping with, sleep is, the blanket makes it feel heavier though, but yeah, I got a weighted blanket, it's just gray. There we go. Oh, I forgot two things. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, I forgot these. So I'll talk about these, and then I'll show you guys with photos of the other things I got. So. My mom's gonna give me a card, but it came as a notebook, and it's this notebook here, and it has the seven rules of life, so there you guys go, and on the back it says happy 16th birthday. I told her I like this better than a card because I can use this and I can't use a card. It's a notebook. Like, I can use this for like a novella or something that I would outline, you know what I mean? And then I got this, which I'm actually really excited to use, and it is a letters to my future self little like card. And it's got 12 letters and then it's also got like stickers on the back so you can stick them closed. And I'm really excited to use this. I don't know for sure how to use it. Cause like it says like on the inside, like it has something like on the top right there. And then on the other side, it's got that. I don't know how to use this for sure, but I'm excited to use it eventually. So that's all of this stuff I got. Uh, I feel like this isn't a very good video, but then again, these videos aren't usually ever good. But it's time to talk about things I can't carry over here to show the camera. I got a standing desk. <laughs> so I told my mom, I was like, hey, I thought of something you could give me for my birthday because Nobody knew what to give me for my birthday. Um, and I was like, a standing desk. I was like, it's October 1st, but a standing desk was an idea for like Christmas or next year. And if you're wondering why I need a standing desk, I do my schoolwork online at home. I've been doing my schoolwork online at home since last summer so even like before COVID I've been doing my schoolwork online and I sit all day because I also play sims on the weekends I just I don't I obviously don't have a very healthy posture so I asked for a standing desk so I could stand and I really really like it I will be showing off more in my nano vlogs and then my dad got me 
a treadmill. So I also got a treadmill. And if you're wondering, why do you need a treadmill? Because I am a 16 year old girl and there are perverts and people who kidnap people and sell them into sex trafficking in this world, okay, nowadays. So I can't just go run outside unless I bring my taser. And also, it's freaking October, so it's cold outside, okay? So, now that I have a treadmill, I can run inside and I don't gotta worry about those perverts. And that's great, okay? Um, because this world is going to hell, and I'm sad that I'm here to see it do that. And that's all I want to say. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys liked it. I know it wasn't very good, but these really are never good. But yes, guys, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry that it wasn't the best thing I've ever posted, but I still hope you guys liked it. I usually post bookish-related videos, and so if that says anything you guys would like to see, then subscribe and like and do all those fun, lovely things. And if you guys didn't know, I post videos every single Monday, and so so you guys all know somebody for another video. I can't talk. I'm like struggling to talk and do my outro. Just my mouth just doesn't want to speak, and that's why I feel like this video was crap. But I waited. So I wanted to film this yesterday, but only one book came, so I couldn't. I couldn't film it. So here I am. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you see that on my next video. And hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. I'm just on a bed this time. I'll be back on my bookshelf next time. Don't you worry. All right, bye everybody. Thumbnail time. Thumbnail, thumbnail, thumbnail. The thing is, I want to read one of these books now. Maybe I should. What if I treated myself and let me and I let myself read one of these books? Because they're not on my TBR. But I don't care. Okay. Okay. Alright, you ready? Alright. Alright, Captain.